Welcome to this short session about how you can configure multiple gateways within Azure. Let me shortly explain how this looks. You have one or multiple on-premises sites. You have two networks in Windows Azure. You have one gateway and you have two gateways. You can either have one-to-one -one connections or multiple to one connection. That means that for each on-premises site, you can have either one connection to a gateway in Azure, or you can have multiple connections to different gateways in Azure's, Azure. And the Azure gateway itself cannot accept multiple connections, it's only accepting one connection from one site. So let's get started. You log into the Azure portal, and then you point to network you quickly create create virtual network and let's just call this for example germany production one you define a affinity site if you want to you point to next and here you define the subnets for windows azure as well and let's just start by defining yeah this looks about right let's make it the bit smaller say about 256 clients and this subnet this looks about right so let's just add one new for example we could add a front end say this is fine as well back end network it doesn't actually make any difference right now because there isn't right there isn't any segmentation on that level yet on Windows Azure click next you can define a dns server if you want to let's just create a new one dns called let's place it in on on the azure implementation somewhere so let's point it to four we'll click on and here we can check this checkbox this is the one that makes the gateway connection to the local site so let's just create that one so let's say that is called three and slash twenty four. Specify new local. That's fine. So this one is within the range here, but it's different than all of these. So let's just go on. Let's define a name for the network. It's German site to site connection. And the name of the VPN. So this is the device on the on-premises side. So let me just put one in here. And it's currently not up, but when it gets online, the connection will actually be established. So let's define which address spaces on the on-premises um, site. Let's just say that's fine. And we also have this as well. Sorry, that's not possible. All that with the virtual network. So this would be fine. So let's just go on and then say create. And then we have the first site created. This is, for example, this site connection. Let's create the second site connection. So we point to new point to network we put to custom create and then we put in a name here for the network and let's just say it's called de testing one same affinity site define some networks this is fine as well similar as before front end back and let's call this and then we have some larger size here they're quite large so let's just put, make them a bit smaller that seems about right so let's just 
add some new ones that's an extreme large size so okay that will be fine and let's just go on and then create a new connection this is the second gateway connection so let's just find it and uh, 65024 overlaps let me just see yes it does so this is the entire range so let me just define this as wave come on define a name for it so this would be um, r d side side can to uh, device ip if necessary we could use the same or we'll use the other one so we could use this one or use this one so let's just use this one define the address spaces on the local side so let's just and also one as well okay, we're going to create click create now we have multiple connections to Azure and now we have defined the two networks so if we go into the production go to the dashboard we'll see uh, the network over here we will see the gateway is not connected yet we'll see the new connection if we go to the testing site we will see the second one as well we can go to configure and then we can see all the configuration that is made we can see different networks this is defined so we can change the configuration and we can also go to virtual machines yeah create new virtual machines and when we do this we can make a new virtual machine and let's just say testing to find a password something and down here we can specify which network this needs to belong to so when we select DE production you'll actually see the different networks down here and as well as DE testing you'll see the new softness down here so if we put it into something to find an availability set if we want to you would see that when we click next it will actually start creating it and also associated with testing site. So let me just see dashboard. So normally we come in here, so just give it a while. So if we go to network again point to testing point to the dashboard we'll see that the virtual machine is now associated with this network is looking on this subnet and also associated with this gateway as well and this concludes this first uh, one out of two sessions on how to create multiple gateways for windows azure